This is my Mac. It's a 2015 late edition of an 8 gigabyte, 1 terabyte computer. It's slow. It crashes. But let me show you how to hopefully restore it to a near enough new condition. Enjoy. Here's the video. It is related to a problem that I had on my Mac. Now my Mac is a late 2015 iMac, 8 gigabyte, 1 terabyte hard drive, not a solid state drive. <clears throat> and for the last four years, near enough, it's worked perfectly. But ever since I updated to Catalina, the latest iMac or Mac system, it seemed to crash and it started to run really slowly. And it's taken me about three months to find out what I needed to do, and I would like to share this with you. First of all, let's go through some basics. Let's go to System Preferences, and again, this is not a high-speed Mac because it's only at 8 gig. What we need to do is somehow speed it up a little bit, and I've just done this, and it doesn't seem to crash as much. So it's good news, and I also use Chrome. I don't use... Safari because I had problems with that earlier so this is my part this is my user group and we're going to go to login items here you can see all my log there's no login items at all it's empty but if there are and it's something you don't need just click on it and then use the minus button that's the first step you need to do yeah, these are all easy stuff and a lot of websites and YouTube videos go there. The next one is that I am again using Google Chrome so let's open that. Again I've taken it off the login system so it'll take a bit of time to, to start up and I'm using the QuickTime here to there. Alright, to clean up first of all Clear browsing data. Now, I've just done this quite recently in the last couple of hours, and it seems to, so there won't be many like login items there. What do I need to do? Clear browsing data. Da, 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 da. It's going to be really quick because I've only got one MB and done. Right? That's the basics. <clears throat> That's two things. The third thing, if we just go into the finder and go to go, and this is when it gets a little bit complicated. Go to computer. Now press Alt or Option on your Mac. Yeah, like so. And you get library. So hold down that. Click on library. And in a moment or two, it will come up like this. You want to get rid of, first of all, your cache. So click on cache. And you can see that I seem to keep on getting a lot of stuff like this. All you need to do is to highlight it, select all, and guess what? Put it into the bin. Done. Okay. You can go back and you can find cookies. Same thing, but my cookies is empty, but you do the same routine. We can go down a step further and you may find something called launch agents which is here. I've got two from Google. I don't need them. So let's just highlight them. And then send them to the bin. Like that. Okay. Couple of steps there. Don't, don't do anything else. I actually got rid of my Safari which is that one there, you can see, and because I really don't use it. Yep, so all this. Saved application state, you can get rid of this one as well. You don't need this. Yep. Highlight it, send it to the trash. Done. Okay, so there's all the things you can do with, let me just explain that again. Go, computer, press your option button and then click library. Got it? <clears throat> now if I go to my activity monitor, here it is, you can go get to this directly by going to your search button up here and 
then you can go and you want to see how much is being used of your system all right and it seems to be like all pretty stable like i've got 84 percent idle uh, memory is going at 388 so i again i only have eight gigabytes so eight gigabytes nowadays is not enough really to multitask so try not to open so many applications or so many websites on the same and again if you delete your cookies etc and cache on your web browser it's going to be faster this is one that i found on recommended to me and this is called you can see here malware bytes and i can this is already installed so malware bytes if i do a scan like this hopefully it will come up in a moment or two and what it's doing is scanning. Now I did this and I found one thing that I never even heard of, I got rid of it. Quite simply, it does it for you. There are paid editions and just using the free one. And these are all the things that you need to do. Once you've done all that, I can't do it now, but just go into restart or shutdown, etc. You can actually do a, a manual disconnect and unplug the electricity for maybe like 20 seconds, 30 seconds, and reconnect it, which is a better version, and then start it up. And ever since that, it seems to have got a lot faster. Not as close to the days when I first bought it at the end of 2015, and hopefully, with this information, my computer won't crash and it'll be at a reasonable speed for one that's four years old. I hope this video helps. If you do have any questions, etc., etc., you can always leave a message on the comment form and I'll be happy to help you there. I'm not a computer expert, but I learned this and I just wanted to share it with you. You could say it's like a Christmas present, as today is Tuesday, the 17th of December 2019. Have a Merry Christmas, have a very Happy New Year, and again, I hope this video helped. I am out of here, but this is basically how to save your Mac. Bye-bye for now.